Hello, and welcome in my kitchen. This is where the magic happens, and by magic I mean coffee, because I don't really cook. It's my husband that does that kind of magic. If you're watching me on Instagram, you know that pretty much every single morning I post how I make my coffee, which is very simple to make, obviously. Everybody knows how to make coffee. But what's really special about my coffee is the foamy milk. So today I'm going to show you the whole process, how I make the milk, how I make the coffee, everything. Come on in. Me and Alex, we quit the normal milk just because he had some intolerance to that milk. I can eat anything and everything and drink whatever. I never had any health problems, but because he uh, started to have uh, problems from the milk, I commit to make my own almond milk every three days. Let's start with the base. What do you need to make almond milk? Obviously, almonds. Normally, you need 250 grams for one liter of water, but I like a very, very rich, very creamy almond milk. So I will use 300 or even 350 grams for the milk that I make. That is what gives the milk that creaminess, that, that richness. So I have 300 grams of almonds right here and I let them soak throughout the night about 12 hours. You also need a date. You need a special type of date. In my opinion, this is what gives that sweetness to the milk. And then you also need a little bit of salt. So after I let the almonds soak into the water throughout the night, I'm going to rinse them. I've already rinsed them a few times uh, already in the morning, but, but I like to rinse them really, really well. I have already prepared my water right here. I measure it in the bottle that I'm going to use to store my almond milk. This is from Ikea and it's perfect for this. It's about one liter of water. Go rinse the almonds. After I've rinsed my almonds, I'm going to put them in the blender because yes, you do need a blender for this. Cannot recommend the Vitamix enough. Like I love this guy, I bought it last year during the quarantine and it has changed my life completely. Almonds are in. I've taken the seed out of the date. Obviously, I'm not gonna put that in. Now I'm gonna put the whole water in that again I've measured and also you need to put a little bit of salt and I do about two pinches. I am very specific about my salt. I love the salt flakes. Okay, we're gonna put the cap and I let it blend for one minute at maximum power. This is where the milk is going to be collected. You also need one of these nut bags. I got this from Amazon also last year during the quarantine. And you don't absolutely need this particular bag or like a nut milk bag but this is very useful because it's round. If it has like corners, when you're going to squeeze the milk, it's going to like be squeezed everywhere. This is really, really helpful, but I would say not necessary. And then everything happens in the sink because this is gonna get pretty dirty. I pour all this milk into this little bag. You gotta make sure your hands are clean when you're doing this. And here's how you make almond milk. This is how much milk I've made. And then, yes, I agree with the sink. It's kind of dirty. It's kind of messy, the whole process. With the remaining of the almonds, you can make, you know, raw cookies. You could 
mix them with dates and like coconut flakes and a little bit of maple syrup or honey like you you could do so many things with it i make almond milk so so often that i don't always use the remaining sometimes alex use is this to make you know the filming the filling uh for the cinnamon rolls he loves to make cinnamon rolls and he uses this to fill fill them in so yeah sometimes i just throw them away but other times i i really use it And this is my delicious homemade almond milk. The hardest part is over. A lot of you mentioned about uh, almond cow, I think it's called. It's, uh, it's a device that is making this whole process much easier. But looking at a lot of reviews, and especially reviews from the people that you know I follow and trust, I have um, came to the conclusion that it will never be as creamy as when you do it with a very very strong blender because it it blends the the almonds like so so fine you could almost make flour with the remaining of the almonds it takes all the juice out of your almonds when you do it with a strong blender that's why i didn't want to invest in the almond cow um, because i knew that at the end i would still use this let's proceed to the coffee for my coffee we use this Nespresso, is this Nespresso? This is Nespresso Maggi Mix, but then I use the Ili Coffee, my favorite. So, and then I prepare my milk. This is what I use, what brand? This is what I use to froth the milk. This is called Arendo. I got it from Amazon and I really don't think the brand is important because any frother should work. Can you come closer to show how much milk I, I put? I put enough milk to cover that thing that froths the milk. Let's put the milk in the fridge. So I store the milk obviously in the fridge and it's enough for three days. After three days it's kind of it kind of turns bad. So I would say three, three days is the maximum that you can keep your milk in the fridge. Now I'm going to froth the milk and the first button is what froths it but also warms the milk. The second button is to froth the milk cold. I froth my milk three times. This is what makes it very very foamy and delicious. Coffee is about to be made. Okay. Look at this milk. This is heaven on earth. I'm telling you, this is like delicious. All right guys, this is how I make my delicious coffee. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because every morning I give you the coffee and a song because I'm crazy about music. Just like I'm crazy for makeup and beauty and just beautiful things in life. I love music, always will. So, uh, and I'm very passionate about discovering new artists and you know, new songs. So follow me definitely on Instagram for my morning coffee and my morning song. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. But you should know that this is not the content that I usually upload. I'm all about makeup. This is just a little exception. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. You don't absolutely need to have a Vitamix, but you need a very, very strong...